Ms. Swank, what a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I just want to say, first of all, how much I, lo I love this show so much that I watched six episodes just so I would know what I was talking about. But I'm going to parcel out the remaining four just because I want to just kind of just actually genuinely savor Aww. and enjoy them. So I'm just going to watch one a week for the next four weeks. But seriously, the show is amazing. Um, I would Thanks. imagine that it has to be so fulfilling to play a character over multiple episodes and hopefully multiple seasons as opposed to you know a movie where you only have two hours. I'm curious, who is a cinematic character that you've played that you wish that um, maybe you almost had multiple episodes or multiple seasons to be able to, to flush that person out? You know what? I um, one of the one of the the, the the most fun times I had um, on a movie set was on a movie called The Homesman that uh, Tommy Lee Jones directed. I loved it for a lot of reasons, um, but I really loved Mary B. Cuddy, that character. I just felt like she had like this integrity and ethos and honesty um, that uh, you want in most human beings. You know, you want your neighbor, you want your friend you, to, to be that person. They're there for you, they show up for you. Those are two of the same things, but you know, they're not yesers. And um, quite frankly, we're filming in the middle of nowhere. So um, I just love wide open spaces. I love nature. And I was on a horse every day. Yes. And um, that was an experience that I, I, I would have loved to have gone on. That was a great movie, and he's such a great director. Um, you know, you, you, you yes. often hear uh, the expression, the right stuff, when it comes to astronauts, about whether or not they have what it takes to, to fulfill that role. I think you guys even briefly touch on it in, in the first episode. I'm curious, when it comes to acting, what is the right stuff to be an actor? What do you have to have to be able to pull it off? You know, I, I don't know. I, I would think that you'd have to kind of be, you have to have the ability to empathize first and foremost, you know, the ability to like walk in someone else's shoes and see life through their eyes in a real kind of meaningful way, I guess, is the first thing that comes to my mind or else how do you tell their story? You know, there's a, a really kind of a very interesting scene very early in the show that there's a press conference where a reporter tells you guys that you have a 50-50 chance of survival, which is pr a pretty astounding thing to hear on a, on a mission you're about to take. It's obviously the, the biggest risk that your character's ever taken. Looking at your own professional career, of all the roles you've taken, what would you say is the equivalent of that? What's the biggest risk you've taken in your career? You know what? I love these questions. And quite frankly, I think that the, the choices that I make are not safe. I think that, you know, they either can really work or really not work. They're not down the middle, like, oh, this is kind of like the safe zone. You know, I've never really thought about like, oh, let's make this choice now, or let's make that choice now. It's always just kind of what feels right to my soul mm -hmm. and what I feel like where I need to grow as a human being kind of in a way and my next kind of iteration of who I am because all these characters kind of are left and imbued on you as a person. Um, so uh, it's like always 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's probably the reason why you have two Oscars is because you are constantly taking risk and you're taking this sort of characters that I think would would scare off a lot of people. Um, I think I'm also quite a lot. I have some luck on my side, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm watching this show and, and you know, I, I, like I told you, I'm six episodes in and, and I'm sitting here thinking like, and I mean this in the best way possible, I have no idea where this show is going to go. Like I have no, I like, I like to think that's it's going to, cool. you know, you guys, yeah. And I don't know, like, are all five of them going to make it back to earth? As someone that's obviously heavily invested in the show, do you know what the ending is? Like, do you have the ability to pull it over a writer or producer and go like, just tell me, like, do we, do we, do we make it there? Do we make it back? Like, like, do you mm -hmm. have it spoiled for you already? Well, I do because I'm an executive producer on the show. So I, I, I'm like, I, I'm a part of story development, right? But um, I, that doesn't mean that I'm not surprised by how those stories unfold. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and that's all a fun thing. Like when you're in the middle of something and, and also kind of what like feels 50-50 and risky is that usually when I commit to a movie, I know the beginning, the middle and the mm -hmm. end. Right. Mm -hmm. And on a limited show, you have an idea of the arc of where you're going, but you don't know what that arc, the color and gradations within that. And that's like weird to be filming something and you don't know your next you know, three episodes out completely. And uh, but that's also kind of the fun. It's kind of the like the kind of gives it an extra spice. 
Well, I can tell you, as someone that's been plowing through it and now is going to purposefully take my time to enjoy it, mm-hmm. the final four episodes, you you absolutely nailed it. It's unbelievable. And, and I do a lot of these, so I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. But I've done Trunkets for a long time. And for some reason, you and I have never crossed paths. But really, it's such a pleasure. I know, that's to crazy. To meet you. We've and been seriously. doing it for a long And it was a great interview. So thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you, you so much. Show. Very much. It was really an honor. And, and uh, take care. I hope you and your family are doing well. You too. Thanks. Right, take care. Bye-bye. Guys, I just want to say really fast, I've watched six episodes of this show so far I because I wanted to try to watch as much as I could to be able to have a good interview, but also it's so good that I now <laughs> I want to parcel out the remaining, like I don't want to fly through the remaining four episodes because it's so good. That's what I'm doing. Oh, wow. it's We're so doing good. It it's so it's good. We watched five and then the family's like, let's go. I'm like, no. You no, have to, I have to stop. I have to, because once it's gone, it's gone. And then I'm going to be knocking on your door <laughs> for season two. Um, but seriously, guys, the show is so good. Congratulations. I want to start out talking about something that I really love with the show is, is these character flashbacks, getting to know you guys through uh, things that you did maybe recently, or in some cases when you were kids. And I want to, I'm kind of curious what that does for you as an actor and how that affects your performance on, um, you know, on the shuttle set, whenever you know, sort of at you, how your character behaved better back in the day? Oh, it's such an important part of it, the flashback. And then it tells um, not only us, but also the viewers who we were. And, you know, to in order to get on this mission and complete this mission, there's so much to conquer and so much we have sacrificed in, in the past. And then um, during this uh, long period of um, being alone, you know, it's, it's a journey of self-discovery, like a lot of things that you it's, it's your history, it's the old yourself that uh, sometimes maybe not that real, not true, not very authentic, you know? So it's, it's the, those flashbacks, I think, um, just enriched um, the entire whole mission to Mars. Mm-hmm. Now I've seen six episodes. And so throughout the six, all five mm-hmm. of you have had flashbacks up to this point. Without getting into spoilers, can you tell me, is that going to be a theme that keeps, are we going to keep learning about you guys through more flashbacks? Or are we going to see more of where you guys came from? Like maybe even into season two and into season three? We don't, honestly, we don't know. We don't know. You guys can ask somebody. You're the stars of the show. (laughs) All right, fair enough. Uh, you, you know, I've got to say, I just recently learned, and my mind is kind of blown, how you guys shoot the gr- zero gravity stuff. That I, I learned it was wires, which which blows my mind because it looks so unbelievably natural. How long did it take you guys to sort of kind of get that feel for it and kind of genuinely make it look like? Because honestly, if you'd asked me, I would have thought like, oh, they found a way to do it. For me, um, I did a lot of Tai Chi before I come to I came to the production and then on um, the boot camp uh, where they trained us. And then, of course, during which I learned and realized I have a lot of muscles that I never knew before. And then also during the long period of whole entire shooting, we kept working out. So, yes, so all of that, all of that contributed to the, what you see on screen. And I come from uh, from a circus background, so for me, it, the the whole uh, flipping and uh, c- control of the body in 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 weird situations is not a very new thing. So it was a somewhat a natural continuation of my life experience. Let's say, and, uh, Mark, you had a particularly difficult sequence whenever you're doing the the final. Um... Uh, conversation with your grandkids because you really kind of were doing a lot of spin so that was that was particularly impressive um i kind of want to end up just by asking without getting into spoilers do you guys know what the end of the show is going to be because i'm watching this show and and i'm sitting here thinking like there are a million different directions this show could go and it's quite possible that not all of these characters are going to make it back to earth is there any part of you that pulls a writer aside and just says like okay be honest with me like do i do i make it three seasons do i make it four seasons do you guys know uh no, we don't know. I have to say that that at this stage, I I like the show. I not because I'm on it. I actually really like the show, and part of me liking it is just uh, the you know pulling the suspense of disbelief. Or mm-hmm. I I don't want to know. I watch this show, and even though I know what's happening and what's going on, 
in a way, I'm like, I, I don't want to know what's going to eat. Even I, I know where it's going. No, I'm yes. not sure. I'm we're wondering. on the journey. So yeah. we're on the journey. So there is no right for us to know what's going to happen next minute. Fair enough. That's a great point. I've got to tell you, they're telling me to wrap. As I wrap up, I am the most annoying person to my friends and family right now because I keep calling and texting going, guys, there is this show and it's so good and you have to watch it. And like, okay, cool. Like, where is it? I'm, I'm like, oh, you can't watch it till September. It's like really far away, but it's really good. So my my friends and family genuinely hate me right now. But seriously, guys, the show is absolutely fantastic. Hopefully I, they'll love you after September. Oh, no, they will. They'll, they'll come back after September, I promise you. But seriously, the show is fantastic. And uh, like I said, I'm parceling out the remaining episodes. Because I really just, I honestly, I just want to enjoy it. So seriously, thank Same you for doing this. And uh, hopefully you, we'll talk you. for season two. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, bye guys. Take care. Bye. Guys, I just want to say I've watched six episodes of the show because I'm in this gray area between wanting to have watched enough so that I can do an intelligent interview, but also like it's so good that I don't want to just waste it and fly through it. So now I'm at a point where I'm going to start parceling them out week by week. But seriously, guys, oh, congratulations. Yeah. The show is amazing. Um, I wanna, to hear that. Oh, it's a fantastic. I want to start out talking about these flashbacks, which I feel like would be so great as an actor to be able to sort of utilize things that you learn about your character so that they are, I guess, represented while they're in space. I'm curious, what, what does that do for you as an actor to learn things maybe about who your character was as a child? child and then be able to use that sort of to maybe in a way affect your performance uh while you're in space well it's certainly a godsend because you don't always get that um with characters so for me there was a history that I was able to draw from and and immediately have a basis for who Ram is as a character and through seeing his past I was able to to, to use that past to see how he sees the present moment um, and, and how that, that trauma affects him. We all see everything through the eyes of our past. So for me, it was informative to know the, the backstory about his brother and his family and that sense of loneliness and the sense, the loss of family. Um, and that informed every scene I, I, I played because I was without that information uh, with that information, I was I was able to have a, a complete clarity um, on 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 how he would see every scenario that they were faced on in the ship. Do you guys know? Is it going to be sort of like a lost situation where? Because I've seen six episodes so far, so every at this point, every person has had a flashback episode. Do you know if like moving forward, we're going to get multiple flashbacks with you guys to kind of like start fleshing out even even more so? We can't tell you. You're gonna have to. Not watch with that it. attitude, man. Come on, it's just <laughs> it's just us talking. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I do have a bit of a, a, and I normally I normally don't care to know sort of like the you know the the man behind the curtain. I normally don't want to know the magic of, of of how things are made. But I gotta ask, how did you guys shoot the zero gravity sequences? Because it looks so seamless. And I tried to like look up online to see how they do this. And they said, oh, well, they fly the ship up and they go really high. And, and I was like, they can't do that for the entirety. So can I, can I ask you guys how you actually shot that? It's an old theater trick. We're all on wires. That We're on wires and there's men pulling us up and down with weights and stuff. We, we took about two weeks prior to shooting to learn how to operate on the wires and to simulate um, weightlessness. Now we're in gravity trying to simulate weightlessness. And so we had to really develop our cores in order to be, let's say on our side horizontal and speak normally without any effort. And that was how we've pulled it off. But it's really old fashioned wires and pulleys and hanging up 30 feet it in the air. It looks so good. Feet. Yeah, I can't believe we pulled it off. It's it amazing. It looks yeah. so natural. That's yeah. so cool. So, yeah. you know, I was telling you guys, I, I'm, I'm six episodes in, and at this point, I'm going to actually start parceling it out and really kind of savor it. But I'm mm -hmm. sort of curious, when you're a part of a show like, because at this point, I really have no direction. I have no idea where it's going to go, and I have no yeah. idea how it, where it could go over multiple seasons. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know what the ending is? Is there any part of you that goes over to one of the producers or the writers and goes, like, come on, like, tell me. Do, we, do, I, do I make it? Do I make it back? Like, do you, do you know where this is going? <laughs> I actually I don't um I just uh, with any TV show I'm part of I just keep my fingers crossed yeah. that I'll make it through but uh this is such a dynamic sort of story that I almost don't care I I don't want to know I want to almost be surprised especially if we get a season two uh where this can possibly go because uh, this is something that's never been done before uh and I'm I'm just happy to be a part of it 
and and I, I gotta say I, I got emotional over the plants, man. Like even even oh. when we had to, like like, <laughs> like like that's how I knew I was getting into the show, and I was like, why am I getting emotional over the plants? But I just gotta ask. <laughs> there was an episode that really really hit me last night. I mean, we're talking tears, which was the episode when you guys realize you're going far enough so that you can't do video chats with people anymore, and you have to say your last goodbyes. If you guys knew, like, all right, this is my last my last video chat with someone. Who is the person you would call? Mom and dad. Mom and yeah. dad. Yeah. Oh. yeah, mom, mom yeah. and dad. I have to agree with that. I feel like that episode in particular is going to hit people just because like my folks live in Texas. So I haven't seen them obviously while the pandemic's been going on. And I was just like, you know, I was like texting my parents. I was like, I love you guys. Like it oh, between yeah. that and the plants, man, that it got me. Um, <laughs> but seriously, the show is absolutely fantastic. I genuinely love it so much. And I, I hope that we're talking over multiple, multiple seasons. And I just want to say congratulations and, and thank you for your time. Thanks, Thanks man. man. Hey, really it is, dude. Pleasure. Take care. Yep. Uh, first of all, I just want to say I love this show so much. I watched the first six so I would know what I was talking about. And I'm going to parcel out the remaining four because I know that once it's done, I'm just going to want season two. But seriously, the show is amazing. So congratulations. Thank you so much. I want to start out talking about these, I guess, these like virtual conversations that you're having with your mom on the show, obviously with Hillary Swank. Whenever you're doing that, because some of them are like really, especially in that fifth episode where you kind of have to like say goodbye for a second. I mean, they're like very powerful scenes. Is there anyone else on the other side of that that you're talking to? Or are you basically like like acting to a laptop? It really was Hillary. So they tried to make it as realistic as possible so that we could feel comfortable and the scene could go just how it would normally. Mm -hmm. um, so when we filmed it, Hillary was on one part of the studio and I was on the other part. And it was kind of what we're doing right now. It was like a FaceTime yeah. on a laptop, just as you see in the show. Um, so it definitely gave it this rawness that it, we, I feel like, could easily portray what was happening in the scene because it was really happening right there. I mean, yeah, if I feel like if she had been right off camera or something, I feel like that would have thrown me off as an actor. But getting to have it actually happen like how it was supposed to was just just made it so real and it was super easy to play off of that. So you didn't know it at the time, but you were kind of preparing for the whole like pandemic and talking to people via Zoom. And, and so you're like, you're, you're basically a pro with this thing now. I know. I was just talking to someone else about that, like the parallels between what's happening right now and the show. And it's kind of odd that this happened, like just just literally right after we wrapped. Yeah. So it didn't affect us at all during filming. But now that it's coming out, I feel like people will be able to relate to it. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I've done this. I'm good to go. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I <laughs> love the, yours. yeah, exactly. I, I love the relationship, uh, the, the, the mother-daughter relationship in the show, because obviously as, as Hillary gets further and further uh, away from Earth and closer to Mars, like she really uses her daughters like her tether. Like that is the person that's kind of keeping her going. And I'm curious, obviously you travel all over the place uh, as an actor and you know, you're not always around the people that you wish you could be around. Who is that person for you that even if maybe you're not with that person kind of keeps you going all the time? Um, as of right now, it's probably my nieces. Mm -hmm. One is nine months old and the other is two years. And they're both very different personalities, but I love them so much. And that was really hard for me because um, when this was filming, I was I was going to miss my niece's birth and I was really scared about that, but we got back right in time to be there for the birth. I know it's perfect. And um, I just like FaceTimed them every night. I wouldn't like, I grew, I grew up with six brothers and two sisters and I didn't FaceTime like any of them. I just would call and talk to my niece. <laughs> And be like, hi, how are you? How's your day? Yeah. Even though she's only one years old at the time, so she couldn't really speak that much. But I, it was just like my little bit of joy, like every day, especially after like emotional scenes like that. Yeah. I, I get that. My, my mom happy. calls me and, and my folks live in Texas. And my mom calls and just says like, so how's your dog doing? I'm like, like, mom, like I, I am your child. Like you realize it. Like, like I, I am your son. Like my dog is doing just fine, but this is, you know, that's so trust me. I totally understand that. And I guess I just want to, it's amazing. It, oh, trust me. It's, it's been happening for a few months now. Um, I'm sorry. Did you ever get to visit obviously because your character is, is on planet earth. And so, you know, we don't get to see you, you know, like I'm sort of curious, do you ever just sneak over to like, like the space sets just to kind of like oh I totally did do you really yeah I, yeah no I definitely did and like push buttons really, and stuff well I didn't want to get in trouble oh, but I definitely like, listening you're fine <laughs> I know they're not watching or anything 
No, I did. Like I was, because I would get bored in my trailer. And if it was like a scene where I was just there that day in my sweats and whatever, and I was just calling in to be there for someone else, like clearly if we had like a phone call or something. So I would just like sneak on to set, go over to like the <laughs> their headquarters or like go to the moon's little like area because it was just so well done. Like the people who crafted that, those sets were just so talented. And yeah, it just made me want to actually become an astronaut a little bit. <laughs> but I'm happy I'm an actor because I don't have, um, <laughs> I don't have to go to space for three years and worry about dying constantly. <laughs> exactly. You can just keep it on the ground and it's still, you still have to have the excitement. Exactly. Um, and I kind of get the experience through being an actor too. So yeah, <laughs> it's worth that's it. That's so cool. I genuinely, I truly love the show. Like I said, I'm going to parcel out the last four because I'm already ready for season two. And I know that. Well, now um, I'm curious what you think, though. I wish you could call back again. After we'll you we'll, we'll talk to Netflix. We'll do a follow up interview and I'll kind of let you know. OK, deal. Yeah, seriously, it's so good. Congratulations. And hopefully I cannot wait Thank to talk you. to you for season two. Have a nice day, Jay. Right, you too. Talk to you later. Bye.